about our last meeting? Uh, about your vortex? Yes. Mm. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikumsalam. Ah, you talk about reporter. Yes. So you are ready to study. Yes. Ah, oh, cute face. <laughs> Where do you buy it? There is no stock, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, before that, let's say hi to your friends first, yeah. Because you are ready, I believe your friends there are ready too. Okay, uh, students at home, uh, meet with us again uh, with Aka TV, English on Aka TV. So today with us, uh, I am Miss Catherine. I am from SMP IT Baitul Ansor, and I have a friends here and my students here. Okay, please, Ibu Ajeng, please tell me about yourself. I am Ajeng. I'm from uh, Taruna Mandiri Junior High School. Thank you, Miss Catherine. Okay, girls, please say hi to your friends there. Hello, my name is Kafahira. Hello, my name is Ramiza. Hello, my name is Hana. Okay, and first thing first, before everything, let's say some pray to the only one God, yeah? Let's say Basmala together. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Okay, and after that, we should know the goals for everything. And now, I ha we have some goals. Tujuan pembelajaran. Okay, please. Okay, I will read for you, yeah. Melalui membaca. So you will read today, yeah. Melalui membaca, siswa dapat mengidentifikasi informasi yang tersirat dari struktur teks generic structure ya yeah, struktur is like kerangka and after that the social function why the reason why someone write a text and then language features unsur bahasanya the verb the tense and so on and so forth ya yeah. Dari apa? Dari teks deskriptif dan report dengan benar. And the second one, the goals, the second goals, melalui berbagai kegiatan, ada berbagai kegiatan ya, today, melalui berbagai kegiatan, siswa dapat menemukan, menemukan satu persamaan, minimum one similarity, and two differences, dua perbedaan dari teks apa? Text descriptive dan report. Okay, yeah. So remember, remember five things today. One, generic structure, structure. and the second one, social, social function. function, and then language, language features. features, and then similarity, similarity. And, and differences. differences. And in the second goal, ada berbagai kegiatan. What? What will we do today? Okay. We will watch. After that, you will match some words. After match the words, you will read the text. After the text, fine. The most important thing in the ninth grade is finding the differences and similarities you observe later ya yeah? and the last one and students at home too ya yeah? remember and the last one do the task please and submit to you to your teacher okay okay ah ready yeah. ah. Mm. report text what is report text Ah yes. Teks adalah teks yang menjelaskan suatu objek secara umum. It talks about an object in general. Ah yes. Oh my. It states the reality of the thing and also the result of an observation. Ah, ha. The generic character consists mm -hmm. of general classification and description. Okay. We learn about two texts. The first is report and the second one is descriptive text. And descriptive text, do you still remember in the seventh grade? Uh, yes? Describing an object. Uh huh. Describing an object. And what about report text? Uh, 
what for is this report text describing an objective so what is the difference what are the differences what are the differences students at home we will learn about it today yeah? observe yourself okay so i i told you we will have a video try to find what the topic of the video the topic will be the topic of the text too okay okay please watch it Okay, so students at home, what do you see? What did you see? And what about you? What can you see there? I can see elephants, rhino, komodo, and monkey. Ah, great, yeah? Students at home too, yeah? Try to guess. Where the place? Where is the place? Uh, no, but I don't know the English, miss. I think it is in Suwaka Marga Satwa. Suwaka Marga Satwa. In English, it is wildlife sanctuary do you know it wildlife sanctuary actually a little bit different it is a park yeah in the past time years ago we could not enter the place it is wakamarga satwa but today we can go there we can have a recreation there and today it is a national park okay and so the topic of today is about national, 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 park. national park good the first topic and the second one please Karuna rahvuspark on Eesti väiksein rahvuspark, mida ilmestab Lõuna Eesti ja iseloomulik metsa- ja järverik kaskupel maastik. Siin kaitstakse lisaks liikidele ka oma naamist kultuuri pärandit. Inimene on siin tegelenud põlvpidamisega ja piirkonnale on olnud eriti omane metsmesinduse viiremini. Vanad tarupedajad on praeguseks küll hävinud, kuid karulat võib pidada Eesti metsmesinduse viimaseks kaitseks. Karula kõrgustiku aim. Okay, what did you see there? I can see hill. Hill? I can see trees. Trees too, yes, students are telling there are trees, okay? Ada orang mengambil madu dari lebah liat. Oh, taking honey. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, so can you guess where the place is? Karula National Park. Karula National Park. Oh, you see from the beginning. Okay, good, good, yeah. So the second theme is about? Karula National Park. Ah, okay. Karula National Park. So we have two National Park and Karula National Park. And now, I have some words. You have to match the words and try to match the words to students at home. And here are the pictures, the objects. You can see the objects in National Park. Okay, I will give you five seconds, yeah? One, two, three, four, five. Stop, okay. Who can answer number one? Number one is hill. Yes, it is hill, book it. Okay, number two, uh-huh. 
Number two is black stork. Ah, black stork. What is black stork? Bangau hitam. Ah, bangau hitam. And number three? Okay. Number three is moose. Moose. What is moose? Rusa. 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 Like in Alaska, yeah? Okay, rusa besar, yeah? Big rusa. Okay, next. Number four? Number four is pine. Pine. What is pine? Penis. Penis. Okay. And the last one, number five? Oh, okay. Number five is swamp. Swamp. Rawa. Rawa, right? Yes. Okay. And I have three other words. You have to guess, students at home, it is your turn. Three, only three, yeah? Okay. I give you three seconds. One, two, three, stop. Okay, yeah? Okay, what about that, students at home? Number six is what? Ah, lake. Great. It is lake. Danau, yeah? And number seven? Number seven is beaver. No, that is not beaver. It is otter. Ah, number eight is beaver. You can see the big flat tail. It is beaver. So number seven, it is otter. Number eight is beaver, yeah? Okay. Ah, so you have known the, the words you will see in the text? So you are ready now to read the text? Yes. Okay. Who wants to read the text? Okay. Recently, people have been interested in vacationing in national parks or parks used for conservation purposes. National parks range from natural, semi-natural, or developed, developed land owned by a stage. Most of them are open to visitors and can offer recreational and camping activities that, uh, that are perfect for a recreational, recreational camping with the for, for a holiday. holiday family. Those activities provide awareness for the public of the significance of conservation aside from Allowing the public to see, to see the wonders of nature. The wonders of the nature. Okay, and thanks to eh, actually, any questions? Do you understand? Oh, okay. What well, is conservation, Miss? Conservation. Adoption is adopsi. Emotion is emosi. And conservation is conservasi. But okay. I don't know what conservasi is. Oh, I see. You know, uh. Saving the water, planting some trees, yeah, it is conservation. Is it like pelestarian? Ah, that's it, that's it, yeah. Okay. So, conservation, students at home, yes, pelestarian. Any other question? Okay. What is awareness and significance? Awareness. Uh, it is the antonym of ignorance. Who can answer the who can guess what is it? Ketidakpedulian. Ketidakpedulian. That's it. Good, 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 good. Okay. So awareness is kepedulian. Okay. Any other questions? No. Okay. That's it. Okay. We can go on to the next te uh, text. Yeah. Okay. Who wants to read the text? Okay. Next. Karula is a national park established in 1993. The park is located in Estonia. There are swamps as well as pine trees on sandy land within the forest of the 104 square kilometer park. Okay, can you see this? Small farms, hills, and lake can also found in the park. Among the resident wildlife of the park are otters, beavers, black stork, moose, golden eagles, and wolves. Okay, great. Yeah. And any difficult words? Okay. Yes, what is established? Established. Can you guess the students at home? Eh? Oh, May. Mm -hmm. Okay, May. <laughs> okay, what is okay. established? Established like berdiri. Oh, why can you guess that? Because there is 1993. Ah, yes. Didirikan, yeah, it's great. Okay. Uh, so, which one is descriptive? And which one is 
report that. Can you guess the genre of the text? Ah, yes. Text two is descriptive text. Descriptive text. And text one is report text. Report text. How can you say that? Uh, okay. Can you? Anybody can give some reason why do you choose descriptive text for text two and text one is report text? Anybody who can explain? Text one oh, is okay. report text because it is more scientific. Okay. And there is a general classification classification in the first sentence. Okay. So I got that. Yeah. A scientific. Next uh, slide. Okay. 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 So the content of report text is scientific. It is after observation, so it is scientific, yeah. And descriptive text is not scientific. So is it different or same? Different. Different. Yeah. We found. We found. We found the differences. Yeah. One difference. Okay. Good. Good. Okay. So, uh, after content, you do you remember five goals? The generic structure. Good. Okay. Let's go on. Let's see the generic structure. Oh, the new vocabularies from the text. Do you still remember about this? Oh, vacationing is? Mm, berlibur. Okay, conservation is? Conservation. Okay, recreational is? Recreational. Ah, provide? Um, Menyediakan. Menyediakan. Okay, significance tadi apa? Pentingnya. Pentingnya. Wonders of nature. Keindahan alam. Keindahan alam. Keindahan alam. And from text two, tadi established. Berdiri. Berdiri ditirikan. Okay, good. Swamps. Rawa-rawa. A forest. Hutan. Land. Daratan. Daratan. Okay, good. Eh, itu apa ya? Small farms. Okay, small farms. Kebun. Ah, kebun kecil. Okay, hills. Bukit, wildlife, kehidupan liar, kehidupan liar, good resident, penduduk. Okay, so I believe students at home can answer about that too, yeah. Okay, you know about the sen, the words, yeah. Okay, and the we we go to generic structure, yeah. Okay, what is the generic structure of the report text? Do you can you guess? The general structure, okay, May. Uh, sentence, first sentence mm -hmm. is gener generic classification. General and classification. And then sentence two until sentence four is description. Oh, why? There is no is yet there. Because in sentence one, uh -huh. kita bisa lihat ada uh, the word or, so it explain the definition of national park ah i see so students at home untuk menjelaskan tentang kelasnya to describe the general classification we can use or to yeah the word or we sometimes we write the general classification like this cats are mammals butterflies are insects Nah, kita punya cara baru. We find a new way. It is using or, yeah. Okay, good. And the rest are second, uh, second sentence, the third until the last. Description. Description. Okay. And uh, the structure of uh, text one. Ah, betul apa tidak? Why is that good? Betul ya. The general classification and description. Oh, mas ingat ya. You still remember about last meeting? Okay, good. Okay. Next. The text one. Okay. A text two. Yes. And but anybody can guess. The okay. The next structure. 
Chapter 4 is identification and the rest of the description. The first sentence is identification and the rest are description. Yes. How can you nail that? Uh, because sentence 1 menanyakan uh, what is name Kakula? Apa itu Kakula? Uh -huh. Ah, I see there is a name, Karula. So, it is identification. Identitasnya siapa? Who is it? What is it? Yeah? Okay, good. Okay, so, benarkah? Yeah, great, excellent. Okay, so, say more different. The general structure of report and descriptive, say more different. Um, 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 ah yes, Hira, I can't hear you. Uh, the genetic structure-nya apakah sama, the Atau same? Uh, uh, the report text, uh, you know, classification and description, uh -huh. and Karula National Park is identification. Oh, so it is different uh, description. Uh, the general classification and the identification. Okay, so about the language features. Okay, social functionnya dulu ya. What is it for? The uh, text one is for descriptive. Descriptive to tell something and specific. Okay, itu text tuh ya. Okay, okay. Text one is about report text, yeah. Okay. Yes, report text that tells something in general. Okay, good. And the last one, language features. The language features, uh, what tense? What tense? Yes. Use present tense. Present tense. Why? Because di dua teks itu, uh, use verb one and to be. Okay, good. Now, my friend have some questions for you. Yeah, be ready for that. Okay, please, Miss Ajem. Okay. <laughs> this is right. <laughs> okay, you have learned about the difference between report text and descriptive text, right? Okay. I would like to review some of... Uh, lesson that you have learned today okay do you still remember what is the social function of report text okay social function May. is report text and uh, in general yes in the text it tell something in specific okay how about the Social function of descriptive text. Descriptive text to tell something uh, in specific. Eh, or specific. yes, to describe also yeah, yes. to describe something. So, the social function of report text is to present information about anything in general, right? While uh, the social function of descriptive text is to describe, yeah, descriptive, descriptive, gitu ya, describe dekat kan ya, describe uh, an object or particular things like uh, my room, right, uh, or uh, my cat, something like that. Well, report text uh, present information in. Uh, in general, something in general like a uh, tsunami or uh, crocodile, but in general, yeah, not specific. So, okay, my second question is uh, you have uh, read about, uh, you have read two texts, yeah, the first text and the second text. The first text is report text, and the second one is descriptive text, right? Okay. What do you think the suitable title for each text? Do you have? Okay, any idea? Text one is National Park and okay. text two is Karulas National Park. Okay, National Park and Karulas National Park. So, 
In descriptive text, usually the title would be more specific than reported, right? Okay. Uh, so in conclusion, uh, we have discussed about first uh, the different, right? The different between report text and uh, descriptive text. The differences are uh, the first is a report text is scientific, right? And uh, the descriptive non-scientific because uh, the de uh, the the descriptive text usually uh, uh, give personal opinion. That or uh, they they write their personal opinion yeah in descriptive text while in uh, in report text it is the information is based on uh, the result of uh, research or observation the second uh, difference is uh, the generic structure right the generic structure the first part of generic structure is different in report text, the first uh, part is general classification. It contains a general statement or its classification. While in descriptive text, the first part is identification. Usually, it contains introduction. Right. This the third uh, difference between differences between. Uh, report and uh, descriptive text is detail in general. In the content, right? The content, tadi the first one, yeah, scientific, yeah, and then the general, and the then function. the third one is the function. The the function, the social function, right? The social function. It's also different. Yeah, like you said before, yeah, in my first question that the report text is to uh, uh, present information in general, while in uh, descriptive text is to describe an object or a particular things. Right? Okay. So that's uh, the difference between descriptive tag and report tags. Now, they are not only have differences, but also there are some similarities uh, between uh, report tags and descriptive tag. The first is uh, the language feature. They use present tense, yeah? And the second, uh, the generic structure, it consists of two parts, yeah? They have uh, two parts of uh, generic structure, same, but the first part is different, of course. Uh, but, uh, the report text, first part is general classification, while in descriptive text, uh, the first part is uh, identification. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you for watching our program. I hope you enjoy. Uh, our program today before I close the session let's say Alhamdulillah together Alhamdulillah. okay uh, buat anak-anakku yang di rumah don't forget to do your LK or your task yeah and submit it to your teacher uh, keep healthy uh, I'll see you later bye-bye Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh